Welcome to NCDOT Now. I'm Steve Abbott. And I'm Dara Zimai. The July 4th holiday is a time to celebrate responsibly. Don't put yourself and others in danger by drunk driving. If you do, you will be caught. Booze it and lose it. Operation Firecracker is now underway. Officers across the state are manning checkpoints and stepping up patrols to get drunk drivers off the roads. The Governor's Highway Safety Program and North Carolina Department of Transportation really encourages every motorist uh, to be safe on their travels this holiday period. Uh, make sure you buckle up on every trip, observe the speed limits, and by all means, if you've had anything to drink, don't get behind the wheel. If you plan to party, keep safety in mind and designate a sober driver. The Booze It and Lose It campaign runs through July 7th. Three NCDOT employees are now heralded as heroes after rescuing a family in McDowell County from a dangerous house fire. The crew is patching asphalt on a road in Marion when they saw smoke coming from the house. Acting quickly, the men broke through the window with a fire extinguisher and pulled the son and his father to safety. NCDOT praises these heroes for their bravery and going above and beyond to serve their community. NCDOT's Introduce a Girl to Engineering Day program is the proud recipient of the Rosa Parks Diversity Leadership Award. The Triangle Chapter of the Women's Transportation Seminar recognized the program for its efforts to encourage female high school students to consider engineering as a future career. During the program, female NCDOT engineers lead the girls in hands-on experiments to show them how using science, technology, engineering, and math is thought-provoking and fun. I feel that a program like this inspires young students because it brings the engineer, it makes the engineer a person instead of just a position. They become real people and it's a little, it's a whole lot easier to aspire to be something when you can relate to someone. The Introduce a Girl to Engineering Day program started in 2004 and since then has helped energize hundreds of young women to explore jobs in engineering. For information on these stories and much more, visit ncdot.gov. That's all for this edition of NZDOT Now. We'll see you next time.